Hello everybody, I'm George Riles from Archery Learning Center. I'm here with another thing a week. Today I'm going to wrap and fletch an arrow with the new Last Chance Archery Vane Master Pro. So the first thing, I like to use wraps on my X10s because the wraps will protect the carbon from the glue. So when I get ready to refletch or whatever, I just warm up the wrap with a heat gun or hot water and it comes right off and then I can easily rewrap and refletch whenever I get ready. I use wraps from custommadewraps.com. They have a gazillion different patterns and things for you to use. And you can put your name on them, you can make them numbered, you can do the whole thing with them. And uh, they make the coolest custom made wraps out there. Custommadewraps.com. So I'm gonna set the wrap just a little bit down here from the end so if the back of the shaft gets hit or something like that, I can see cracks. So I don't put the wrap all the way up to the pin, okay? So I use this uh, custom made wraps pad that you can get from them and I'm gonna use these graduated lines here to set my shaft right where it needs to be and I'm gonna line that up and place that into position there. And I'm going to roll this on. Now the cool thing about custom made wraps is they have this handling film attached which makes the wraps go on really super easy and you can peel the film back as you wrap. Okay. And you wrap it on there like so. And then I peel the handling film. Boom. I got a really cool wrap on my shaft. So I've got my Vane Master Pro here. I have already set the knock section. You see the shaft goes into this section right here like so. And that holds the shaft and the knock goes into the receiver. And I set the distance of the shaft here by sliding the knock receiver forwards and backwards here. The vein goes in the carrier here and the carrier fits on like so. So when I push against it, they've got a little deal here that I use to, right there, to hold the arrow in place while I'm fletching. I always use these lines here to line up my vein. I put the, put the vein in between the two wires like so, okay. And uh, I'll dry fit the vein and make sure that I have everything set. And to set the rotation or the helical on the vein, you can just sort of bump that back and forth, touch, touch. I know that it's right in the middle there. I take that one, touch, touch, it's right in the middle. And I can look forward and just take a look and say, yes, that's good full base contact and I'm ready to start fletching. So I'll pull this off. Here's an interesting note with your super glue. This is uh, Last Chance Archery Baymaster Pro Super Glue. It's the best stuff on the planet. You need to get some of this. But I hold the cap with my pinky here and I will take it, take the, uh, the glue bottle here and I'll just put a few dots of glue. More glue doesn't make it stick better, it just makes it take longer to dry. So I'll just put a few dots there and then just sort of use the tip to sort of spread the glue across the vein and then immediately put the cap back on and screw it down. That's why I hold the, vein, the, the glue cap with my pinky so that way the glue doesn't get gummed up. I'll set this in place, slide this in until it touches. So give the vein a couple of seconds to dry and then slide the, uh, the jig holder back. Now let me show you about the jig holder here. If you loosen this knob right here, you can change the helical by moving the pin through the slots here. So I have the pin here in the second slot. That's where I fletch my X10s right there. So I can always go back to that from dozen to dozen. So if I fletch X10s, then I fletch 2315s, then I fletch 2712s. No matter which arrow I can, I can always go back to the original settings of my X10s and make another identical dozen. That's the beauty of this jig with all the adjustments and everything that it has. You can always go back and make another dozen that's perfect. Uh, with my old jigs, you know, I would have to move it for another uh, fletching or arrow style or fletching style or something. I never could get it back exactly where it was. So that's really important for me. 
Now these two uh, bars here are coated with a special kind of plastic that glue won't stick to so that you don't have to worry about any spillover or anything like that. And incidentally, the holes here can do right or left helical and each hole is one degree of helical as you move the pin down the scale. So I'm gonna put a little glue on the vein, do vein number two. And this goes really quick if I'm not demonstrating at the same time, if I'm just sitting here by myself and fletching, fletching veins, it goes pretty fast. I'll just use the tip to kind of make sure that's nice and wet. Put the lid back on to keep my glue fresh. And then load that into place. Boom, put it down. So you give this a couple of seconds to dry and then slide the receiver back. Load the next vein, like so. And uh, this knot receiver, you just rotate it like that. You can loosen this screw up and remove this part and immediately go to four fletch. So this is 120 degree three fletch. You can do 75, 105, you can do 90 degree four fletch. So my third vein here. smear. And there we have it. Perfectly fletched X10 with cute little custom made world archery wraps. Thane Master Pro. You can get it at lastchancearchery.com.